Hello and welcome to a Smurf P video and we are looking at X-Men issue 20 and the cover is absolutely beautiful with uh, damaged Nimrod circuits going on there. Very, very cool. I dig it. I like it. It's awesome. So uh, the opening plot is um, about, well it just says then, and um, we can't see this vision I think it's fishing. I can't remember. It feels like it's going back to an issue long ago that I've forgotten. And we see Mystique approaching a forge. And they have a conversation. Just to get my camera a little bit better. They have a conversation uh, about a weapon. And um, it, it's quite an interesting conversation because he talks about... Um, Everybody says when they create a weapon, they create it with best intentions. Or they um, build things and then use it for something else, for example. Whereas he says, everything I build, I know what its intention is. Um, I know if it's a weapon, it's there to do damage, etc. But what you need to remember is... It's the actual wielder of that weapon that is the dangerous thing. The weapon is just an object. So, um, then, and then they kind of wind each other up by saying, how do you sleep at night sort of thing, knowing what you've done. Forge says he sleeps very well. Mystique says she sleeps fine, which I think is true for, you know, the, the amount of damage she has done over the year. So she, she kind of gets uh, her ants and her pencils. You know, this has been approved by the council, which I sit on. Um, and Magneto and Professor Xavier have spoke to you directly about this sort of thing. So, build me it. So, he's got a weapon. And uh, the weapon... So, basically, this issue ends up being Suicide Run number two. So, we've already seen that back in either... Is it House of X or Powers of X? One of those issues where the X-Men went to destroy um, Orkley's... Orchids, that's what I'm going to say. It's probably the wrong word, so apologies. So once again, Hickman is trying to, feels like he's trying to tie up uh, another end that's been left open for a while, which is uh, around Mystique, um, a, a deal with Professor Xavier at Magneto to bring Irene back to a life. And we all know that she d they don't want to do that. So we all know that in their mind, and she knows that they don't want to do that either, by the way. Um, they don't want to do that because they believe, I, I, it's something to do with Moira. I feel like Moira is going to be something sinister in the future, which is, which is pretty awesome. But anyway, this is round two of trying to prevent Nimrod from going online. However... Oh, sorry, then we got all the careers. So Jonathan Hickman is doing the writing. It's got Lost Love. This is issue 20, obviously. Francesco is the artist. Sonny is the color artist. And Clayton is on the letters. And Tom Muller is on design. And you got who the characters are here. Pretty much you've seen half of them by the time you get to that point. Anyway. So. The first Nimrod comes online. However, not not in a way that perhaps I anticipated. I mean, don't get me wrong. We we knew the Nimrod back in back in the eighties. Run was um, there was more to that Nimrod, and then that Nimrod became Bastion after going through the siege. Perilous, per, per, I said that completely wrong. Anyway, you know what I mean. So, and, and I completely uh, irrelevant to that. I just thought it was coming out of big chunk of intelligent artificial however she has put her dead husband's memory into this nimrod so it can act like her husband which is um which is amazing and um so as he starts uh waking up there's there's a bit of reunion uh disappointment that we wanted children's but the nimrod itself actually looks quite human he even looks like he's got a I'm going to say there's a decent sized package going on there. So she's made this first initial Nimrod very humanized, so to speak. 
although it's still massive, it's still like seven foot going on there. Uh, and he immediately detects um, an intruder, a mutant intruder, Mystique. Mystique is infiltrated, which um, I think I think we kind of knew this anyway. I think I think there's been snippets of her infiltration before. She's gone in, she's come back out a couple of times now. I think other than the the suicide mission as well, which um, set the them back a bit as well. And she releases a device and goes on the run. And the Nimrod um, creates a, a duplicate. I'm not even sure when that actually happens. But it's... It's really... Yeah, I don't even think you see where he makes a duplicate. It's absolutely bizarre. Suddenly there's a duplicate. Weird. Absolutely weird. It would have been cool if he's... I just there's no explanation to that unless I've missed it I've misread it really weird really weird I find that really weird there is no explanation after the duplicate we see the first Nimrod create that Nimrod creates a duplicate and even more so the original is willing to sacrifice himself So he sends a duplicate off to protect his wife, and he sacrifices her. Why wouldn't you send a duplicate off to... <sighs> really bizarre, really bizarre. There's got to be more to that than what I'm reading, or I'm not reading it correctly. It just didn't make sense. And anyway, the, the duplicate isn't Gregor, it's just a duplicate. And, and he, you know, he says, I'm sorry, and maybe that's what makes this... this second incarnation this duplicate nimrod the better um nimrod that perhaps we see back in the 80s i time travel is um crazy i know that nimrod that went into past could have been any nimrod to be fair anyway that nimrod catches up to to mystique and um pretty much he, he says he's nimrod the hunter he's gonna he's there at the beginning and he is gonna be at the end so this story is about rebirth it's about death it's about failures and um it's about to become even more important anyway and then these guys just talk about how they bounce back and they do they they, they these these bad guys seem to bounce back but um one of the biggest points that all kids realize is that um they didn't they didn't come here out of hate or to strike us down. They came here because they fear us. Now that is a, a probably the best statement out of this whole issue. That and another thing in a minute. Because if they know that the mutants fear them on this island where they're a nation and they're powerful on earth, they can strike them. They can strike them easily. So anyway... She's reborn, she's failed, Nimrod is online after all of that. And we knew that Nimrod was going to come online. Why wouldn't you have it come online? This is an X series. You're not going to enjoy it if Nimrod is not online. So she says, what about Irene? And they turn around um, to her and say, what about her? You failed. You don't get the right to, to ask us the move this up the queue she's back back in the line where you know you, you, you failed and and that is brutal leadership and there was another point earlier in the in the book which i forgot to mention where um they, they said to her that we don't want to know the details of what you're doing because they want their hands clean and it's almost quite um quite bad i mean i i always refer back to scott's leadership and how we create x-force to go out and do those things these guys are doing the same thing. But do you think that anybody's going to be questioning them when we get to some point in the future? I don't think so. It's like the X-Men are not the the X-Men that I expected. They've just agreed mass murder off this station with, even if they are the bad, hundreds and thousands of people. Some of them just probably doing their job. And it's um, it, it's in some ways 
not the X-Men that I grew up... Okay, there have been times over the years where the X-Men have done something awful. Because there was no other way. But they deliberately... And Scott's X-Force, you could say, that was extreme. Because he ordered hundreds of thousands of purifiers to be killed. To save mutant kind. Um, and he, he was severely questioned. So I, I find it hypocritical that these guys that would have judged Scott as well, maybe not Magneto as much, but Professor Xavier is doing this, making the same decisions. It's, um, it's crazy. And sometimes you, yeah, right. Comics change, characters change, stories evolve, but you wonder, is this the X-Men that I grew up to love that wouldn't do this bad stuff because they were meant to be better. They're meant to be better as a nation. I understand the reactive stuff and sometimes doing stuff to slow stuff down, but the killing off people, it, it changes who these characters are meant to be. So I'm interested. So this is a moment that we saw in, in many issues ago. Uh, there will be an island, not the first, but the last. So we've already mentioned Scott's Utopia this is the last one and we also see them go and see Moira because they're going in to report her it's like she's putting the strings behind it all but she's not seen and, and we you know she's barely been spoken of or two this place will seem to be hope for our kind which it has done it's got all nations together good and evil mutants are on this island and and being part of this nation and when those days come, remember these words, bring me back, which he's tried to do. And if you cannot, if they will not let you, which they are not. And this is under the instruction of Moira. Remember, Moira's putting the strings so you can't actually see Moira's face. There's Moira's face. Um, this is Moira's made this decision. Then burn that place to the ground. That is a final fantastic statement and then over here it says this fall inferno so we've obviously got the hellfire gala which is a crossover 20 odd issues or something i felt like it was um in my mind a bit premature to put a, another event on because we haven't um well we've seen five months off five, six months of normal issues and we're back in another event. Um, I feel like it could have waited till towards the end of the year. I guess there's a story to be told there and a reason why, but I feel like an event this soon bugs me. And obviously Inferno, this Inferno, I mean, we've had the original Inferno. I hope this isn't called the Inferno because that would pee me off. Um, but I'm, I'm looking forward to what Mystique's going to do next because crap is going down after Hellfire Gala. And we've also got the Magneto trial as well. What, that's the third trial he's had uh, since X-Men began and um, I'm quite excited for that as well. So, thank you for watching. Uh, please subscribe to my channel and um, I've got a competition or not a competition, I've got a giveaway. Um, when I hit 1,000 um, after a week, you got an opportunity to comment on one of my uh, videos, um, Target 1000, make sure you do that to be in with a chance of winning a Nimrod a free pack with uh, Phantom X and Psylocke, which is uh, it's an awesome Marvel Legends set. So um, make sure you do that. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Embrace the geekiness. Goodbye. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram, PsychopsSmurd. I'm on Twitter at SmurdP, no idea what I'm doing there. I'm also got a page on Facebook, SmurdP. And embrace the geekiness. Thank you for watching. Take care. Goodbye.